So here's the deal. What happens if you're driving down the highway, you got coolers full of whatever you want, and it falls out of the back of the truck? We're here to see what happens. So we're gonna basically hit this road, hooking at 60 miles an hour. Got Seth and Dom in the back. Rest of the guys are gonna try to capture what happens to the cooler once it hits the ground. But I'm gonna be doing 60 through this straightaway, and they're gonna push the coolers out the back. This is the Go Hunt Cooler Stress Test. We have the Canyon and the Yeti, the two coolers we, we carry, both awesome coolers, both do the job. There's tons of ice tests out there, but now we wanna do a destruction test between the two. This is the setup. We got Dom and Seth out the back with the coolers on the side. We're gonna to try to get every angle of exactly what happens if the cooler were to fall out of the back of the truck. Did it go, get destroyed? Back. Did it? Yeah, I got bottom. Oh, oh yeah. Boy. Insulation open. Oh, it popped open. You know what though? The latches are still good. Wow. A little bit of a scuff there. That's about it. Everything looks okay. Dude, the latch is complete. I'm so impressed with that. How it was sliding on the top for a while. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> Wow. Right the latches are fine. Is it back? Is there something wrong with it? It looks like a little crack, but not really. Looks pretty good. Damn. Good. Tag still on. Tag still on? Still yeah. New. Wow. Still new. I mean, if you just bent this, I bet this would fit back in there. I think you got it. There you go. The Yeti is still full to the brim with ice, all the water inside of it. It's got everything good to go. In the canyon opened up, but the latches are still perfect. The lid's still perfect. All of the mechanics with the lid are perfect. So it's still usable. So if they're still usable, it means we gotta do it again. See this one opening up every time because those latches sit so flush, you know? This one just seems to be a top rider. Probably burst a couple bottles in here, but maybe. You think so? Or just ice, just ice. Think so? I mean. <laughs> Still good? Uh -huh. Still good? All right, with the canyon having pretty severe structural damage and the insulation now starting to like come apart, open twice in a row. That deems this one disqualified, it's out. The Yeti has stayed true the entire time, tag still on. So we'll move on to the big guys now. Because they're much bigger, we're gonna go one at a time. And first up is the Canyon 55. Got a dent here. Yeah. That's about it, really. This is messed up. <laughs> That's done. That's where the water was coming from right there. Think so? Because it was leaking like crazy. I was wondering what it was from. Uh, it's messed up, but for the most part, it's still definitely usable. So now we're gonna grab the Yeti 45, give it a couple good goes and see if it survives as well. It's like almost no damage. The plug is loose. That screwed right back in. <laughs> the rack came down. Seems to be okay. So up. they both made it through the back of the truck, doing 60 miles an hour, going down a road, hitting a curb, all that stuff. So they survived the road test out of the back of the truck and sliding and all that stuff. A little bit of damage, but for the most part, they're all usable. Like the highest level of damage was the Canyon is showing some insulation, but I mean, really, it's still very usable. So right now, we're gonna put them to the roof test, see if we can make them not usable. The Canyon 22, that's the one that took the most damage so far right there. Latches are still good, use a little ice. Canyon 22, dropping. Oh, 
How's the damage? The whole lid broke. The whole lid broke? Yeah. The Canyon 22 um, took some severe lid damage. Now you have insulation showing on the top and bottom. It's not gonna hold ice pretty much at all. The latches still do work though. Um, but as far as the cooler goes, it's pretty much toast now. Drop. Hopefully on one of the corners. Dropping. It's so sound. So solid. It's very, very solid. Yeah. Is it okay? I mean, structurally, it's fine. Hinge is fine. Yep. Nothing's cracked. Yeah. Just scraped yeah, up. Right, so. We're through the two, the two little ones, and the Yeti Roadie, structurally, is 100% fine. Just aesthetically, it's a little different than it once was. We're gonna move on to the big guys. First one is the Canyon, Canyon 55. We're gonna drop that bad boy off now that we're restocked. The only damage it took from the truck ride was the uh, hinge right here. But that's it, that's the only structural damage. Canyon 55, dropping. loud. Yeah, it's fine. Fine? I mean, ice cube stuck out. So far, this cooler has been through countless truck drops doing 60 miles an hour. It's been through, how many roof drops is that now? Two? Two drops. Or one, two drops from the roof, about to be a third. Tag is still on, by the way, so we can resell it if any one of you guys wants to buy it. Um, but yeah, it's about ready to take what could be the last and final drop. You guys ready? Go. Yeah. Dropping. Nothing? I mean, it opened. So overall, the integrity of the coolers is like pretty frustrating. We are, you know, doing this whole destruction and stress testing thing, and we don't want to be beat. We actually want to destroy these things. So it's a little bit frustrating with how well they did. We're gonna have to figure out something to do outside of the box, obviously. I don't know, light them on fire, melt them, I don't know, something. It's frustrating though. like I wanted it to. You did it it shot into the air. Did it survive? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. The smaller Yeti cooler definitely it, won. It did better than the smaller Canyon. It did. The bottom didn't explode. It could probably still hold a drink if you... It could, for sure. You get a little duct tape going. It could, for sure. It Way flew a good 30 yards. Oh, it took off. But yeah, I mean, all in all, say the Yeti won. 100%. But we won, obviously, because we don't lose. Sure. Let's go hunt motto. Ha, ha, ha.